What a roller coaster of emotions. Just got finished watching WWE Money in the Bank, and someone suggested I should start putting shoes on when doing these videos. And to that I say I'm wearing flip-flops, you're not getting shoes yet. So, I miss like the first, no, no I didn't. Uh, so, I saw the one of the matches on the kickoff show. I don't know if there were two. I'm pretty sure there was only one. Um, hey, look, it's my dog. It's my, it's my other dog. There's a third one somewhere, but anyways. Um, so, it started off with the Usos versus the Mysterios for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And for a pre-show match... It was incredible! Such a good match! I mean, it was insane! And it ended with the Usos becoming seven time tag team champions by um, some nefarious measures. Uh, so the show started off with the women's money in the bank ladder match and you know it's okay yes but it had an awesome ending one of the spots they always like to do at money at money in the bank is have a bunch of people on all the ladders at the same time just brawling with each other now this format usually is just a part in the middle of the match it's a transition part. But here it was different because while everyone was brawling, up comes Nikki Ash. She freaking steals the money in the bank contract. Runs off. It was awesome. Oh, it's windy out tonight. Ah, uh, what came next? What came next? Honestly, it wasn't a lot of time. Smackdown Women's title. I don't know what happened to those. Uh, oh, right. WWE title match. Uh, Kofi Kingston versus Bobby Lashley. And God damn, did they feed Kofi to Bobby. It was not even close. And Bobby absolutely destroyed Kofi. Piece by piece, it was brutal. And uh, then came the match that I wish I forgot. See, if you guys are ever having trouble sleeping, might I suggest Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair for the Raw Women's Top Championship at Money in the Bank 2021. My God, was the match boring. Ended with a couple of good spots, but for the most part, it friggin' sucked. Oh, what do you know? It's starting to rain, kind of. Anyways, um, yeah, it was boring as hell. Charlotte won. She should have. Uh, I'm gonna forget that match. Uh, next was the men's money in the bank match, or as I like to call it, what? See, around this time was the time most people were hopping on to Peacock to watch the money in the bank ladder match. Because the men's money in the bank ladder match is pretty much the star attraction of money in the bank. Yeah, there, there's still some fans of the women's match. Of course, there's still there's the title bouts. But the men's money in the bank match was pretty much the main event. So around this time, so many people were popping on that the stream chugged along worse than Nintendo Switch Online. And I even thought it was just my internet. Because... My internet sucks, but nope, it was just 
so many people watching. It was horrible. By the time the match finally got underway, it seemed to stable out. So it was, I was able to watch it. It was a great match. Tons of fun spots. And despite me wanting Shinsuke Nakamura to win, Big E winning was definitely the right decision. Then we had the WWE title match. What? Roller coaster of emotions. The match was super fast paced. There were definitely spots where Roman Reigns definitely was beating up Edge, and Edge was definitely beating up Roman Reigns. So there was a ref bump. And then the Usos tried to come out to help Roman, but then the Mysterios came out to beat up the Usos. But then Seth Rollins comes out, who's in the Money in the Bank match, and he was like super pissed at Edge because he thinks Edge is like trying to steal his match. So he starts attacking Edge while the referee is still out. And then the referee, and then another referee. They're fine a bit, and they're like at a stalemate, and then Seth Rollins comes out again, and then Roman Reigns capitalizes on the distraction to get a cheeky pinfall. Uh, afterwards, Edge and Seth Rollins battle brawl out of the arena. <sighs> so then Roman Reigns gets a microphone, and he tells the whole crowd to acknowledge him. Chief as their head of the team. But then, a very signature music start of somebody sings a song started playing, and it was none other than Mr. Invisibility Taiwan is not a country himself. Any of you are watching this, any time that reference is irrelevant, I'm talking John Cena. Yep, he returned. It was pretty crazy. He just made his entrance to the ring, threw, threw his hat off, and kind of stared at Roman. That's about it. But it's still cool that he's back, and I can't wait to see what happens next this Friday. So that was Money in the Bank. Was it good? It was pretty good. I do really good matches. Uh, one of them I'd say was just good, not excellent, but good. Uh, one match I thought was just okay, and one match I thought was absolutely horrible. That's not counting the pre-show match, which was also really good. Overall, I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, probably a 7. Alright, that's it.